tap in with my peoples, man. Shit, just do working, you feel me? Doing doing drop-offs, man. About to drop these orders off right now. I want I was gonna wait till I'm done dropping it off. But I'm like, man, I need to just press record, man. I know y'all don't mind. So I might be kind of fumbly right now when I get out and do all this shit. Uh, bear with me. Oh, man. I've been, like, I ain't gonna lie, I've been kind of listening to a lot of, uh, just a lot of uh, powerful mindset audio books. You know what I mean? I've been getting deep into this shit, man, trying to really, like, change my, just change my life for the better, man. Start something, I just I get on it tough. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm listening to this uh, audio book right now. That shit like 21 hours long. 21 hours long. <laughs> I just started listening to it today. I'm like damn near three hours in already. So I'm the type that'll finish that motherfucker like for real. Like I don't give a f I don't play. And I'm taking notes. You know what I mean? But you know when I'm driving, I can't really. Sometimes I pull over if it's an important thing I want to remember. Jot that shit down. I got my notepad right here and all type of shit. Like, I ain't fucking around, man. Uh, uh, the, you know, I'm going to tell you the book. The book is uh, it's by Tony Robbins. I've been, like, kind of deep into Tony Robbins' uh, teachings right now. Look him up if you don't know who he is. The book is called Money... Uh, I gotta look. Hold up, but it's just put Tony Robbins money book, money audio book or something in YouTube. You will see it, and uh, it's it's just teaching me about investments. Um, you know how to set up your own uh, retirement plan if you're a self-employed worker or whatever. It's just teaching me a lot about money. You know what I mean? Little little, little mindset stuff and. Turn this shit down. I'm uh, I'm deep into it. I didn't already set up some little shit. He was telling me about like <coughs> automatic transfer from your <coughs> from your checking to your to savings and you know what I mean. Like shit that I used to do, I just fell off. So I'm kind of getting back on my shit, I'm trying to get more uh, have a better relationship with money. Was this Alex? Hold on, let me grab this order real quick. I got two orders. I hope they named it. Oh shit, they didn't. Okay. Of course. Uh, t -t 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 -t. So I might have to open this shit up. Why they didn't name the shit? This is crazy. Uh, chicken, steak, and shrimp. Okay, this is this one right here. I've been doing shit. I heard um, they say knowledge is power, right? But taking action is more powerful. So you can learn all you want, but if you don't do the shit you learn, it's useless. Hold on, let me take a picture of this.
don't take action, you know what I'm saying? The stuff you learning ain't really shit. It's just some shit you done heard type shit. So it's like, I ain't gonna lie with me. When I read books or when I'm learning, uh, I like to I like to go through everything. Like if it's a book or a course, I like to go through everything. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes, I mean, I take action though. But I have a hard time remembering what I learned. You know what I mean? So I'm the type that gotta really like have a notepad. Like I'ma have I'm a type that I have a notepad for every book I read type shit. Like you know what I mean? Like I used to do that a lot, but I started collecting hella notebooks and it's like damn. So I mean, but now I try to just summarize the shit shorter so I can kinda have a different books all in one notepad. Different notes and shit for different books. Um, I started a motherfucking life book, like a life like shit my kind of like my personal like bible type of stuff like you know what i mean like it's my journey things i want to do in my life writing it all down and uh i'm researching each steps that i need to take you know what i mean and i'm writing it in a book like every that book got it's my life like everything i'm trying to do I'm not, I mean, I started it not too long ago, but hold on quick. Hello? Hey. Uh, I'm doing a video right now, and I'm driving, so it's kind of like I'm kind of tired up. <laughs> check-in account that I got so I got a uh, I got a I got a bank I bank with uh, BMO if you heard of that it's like a new bank it's, I got a checking account and then I got a savings account with Chase that I have for years um, you know I got some money saved up in there and shit so I didn't really want to switch or nothing. I just left that like it is. So, but now I got it set up to where, because a lot of my, I use BMO. I stuff a lot of money in my savings. I mean, my checking with BMO to pay bills and to do all type of shit, right? So I got it where I can transfer a certain percentage of money from that checking to my Chase savings. You know what I mean? Um, I didn't want to do an automatic transfer or nothing because I don't. I might, I don't know, but I'm self-employed, so it's kind of like every week I might do someday. Some weeks I might transfer, you know, a little bit or more or whatever, so. But I'm trying to get it to where I could transfer a set amount every week, and it might be automatic. I might do an automatic transfer. But, uh, man, what's going on, man? Shit. Ah, oh, man. If you, uh, I don't know, if you got some type of input and wisdom about <clears throat> about starting your, uh, like a savings account or, I mean, a 401k type of thing from being self-employed, uh, let me know in the comments, bro, like, or let me know, give me some of your sauce, bro, pause, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's crazy. But you know what I mean? Your knowledge on this type of shit, you feel me? Uh, if you got some game about saving or investing, because I'm, I'm getting into like stocks and shit too, that's what this book really kind of, this book, I'm only on the second chapter, these chapters are long as hell, it took like three hours to get into chapter two, so, and the, the first chapter started with, uh, with creating a, uh, 
an investment account, like a savings for investing, and then creating a um, like a 401k type of account. I'm not really knowledgeable with all that shit, but like, you know what I'm saying? Something like a retirement fund type of thing. So I'm still kind of seeing what I need to do with it and seeing who I want to go through. I heard, I know it's, a, it's something called 401k. Some America's best 401k, something like that, and it's like uh, Vanguard. It's a few of them. Fidelity, I think. But I'm thinking about going with Vanguard and also investing with them uh, with stocks. I heard that's a good investment to make in the stock game. So I'm just doing research, man. Shit, I'm about to take action. Shit, I'm, in. I'm not trying to wait. You know what I mean? I hear the good game, I'm on it. So, shit, I should be probably done with the book, shit, this week for sure. And have all these notes to go off of and do some more research and all that type shit. So by next week, I'm going to be in action. For sure. With all this shit. But I'll keep you updated, you know what I'm saying? A little journey of investment, investing. <laughs> some videos talking about investing and all type of shit, you know what I mean, so, just keeping you updated with what, what I got going on, man, that's what this channel is, bro, and you could do the same in the comments or whatever, you know what I mean, it's a little community, man, uh, you know, just sticking to the script, where the fuck they at? white one in the self-checkout <laughs> don't swipe the motherfucker I gotta chill out on that shit though like self-checkout I be tearing their ass up I ain't gonna lie I gotta chill out though but you know what, man? I don't be giving a fuck, man, about doing that shit to these big companies. These big companies, is, I ain't gonna say greedy because they playing the game, the business game. But man, they these big companies, man, they 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 eating, eating. You know what I'm saying? And still overcharging, like you know what I'm saying? Still not giving a fuck. You feel me? So it's like me on this small level down here. You trying to take from? You trying to charge me extra money for little shit. That's like, damn, like, man, I'm going to swipe that shit if I can. Now, I would never steal from no, like, mom and pop store or no, you know what I'm saying, somebody trying to come up or, but these big ass companies, man, if I can come up off of you, I'm going to do it. Like, it ain't shit. Like, to y'all, like, y'all, they dominating the fucking world, like, the nation with this shit. You feel know I me? Mean? Like, Walmart or. Target, motherfucking, give me this shit, man. Like, fuck out of here, man. Y'all niggas got all the money. Like, come on, man. Give me this shit. Take my little money. Like, nah, man. I need this. But I gotta chill out, though, on it. I ain't gonna lie, though. Uh, shit like that. Fucking phone holder for the car or something. They want thirty dollars and all. Man, fuck out of here, man. Give me this shit. <laughs> fuck out of here. I'm gonna buy some diapers with this money, man. Fuck y'all. Feel me? I'm gonna buy the diapers with that money and peel the other shit. Fuck it, man. Fuck out of here. But like I said, I'd never do that at no mom and pop store or somebody struggling or nah. But these motherfuckers, man. Fuck out of here. I get DoorDash orders or Uber Eats orders and nice
nice ass neighborhoods like this. Hella nice, man. It just put me in a good mood. Um, I just, I just future pace. Like I, I, uh, you know, I start thinking of me living out here, being in corners, going home. Like I'm going to a brand new neighborhood right here. They still building houses over here. Oh no, I'm not going that far, but it's a right down the street. It's like a brand new neighborhood. I I be dashing over there sometimes, dropping off orders. Uh, and uh, last week, me and my family, we went to play at this little park in this brand new, new rich ass uh, neighborhood, just to feel it. You know what I mean? And. It's not a lot of people that was out, so you know we was like, let's just go and have the kids play. Uh, well, my son was playing, my daughter was chilling. She's six months old, uh, and you know just chilling. It was a nice environment. Uh, these these older people came outside. They stayed right there by the park. I guess they heard us playing because they had, you know, my son laughing, playing. They heard us and shit. They was trying to be nosy came out like they walking their dog walked around got close to us they started asking my wife some questions me and uh my son was um over there playing and stuff my wifey was chilling with the baby and um you know asking if we live around there and all of that you know what i'm saying she was like she told her why we stay down down the way you know what i mean she didn't really tell her where we live but i was like man i would have told them hey we looking to move around here or I don't know, I would've said some shit just cause they being nosy. But, you know, she's humble. She was just like, you know, we was just like the area, we came to check it out. But people will uh, see, they wanna see, like they probably was like, kinda profiling, you know what I mean? Hold on real quick. Family. Man, this area ain't got much reception. <clears throat> That's how I be with these new areas. What? Hmm. Thought somebody scratched the shit. Oh no, man. Something else that happened. Man. <laughs> Down there forgot about that shit. Got into a car accident, man. Motherfucker hit. Uh, I got hit from the back, Pauls. You feel me? <laughs> Motherfucker pulled up. I don't even know how to say this shit without having hella pauses, but... Me and my family, man. My, my my kids was in the back. My wifey right here. I'm driving. We had a... Uh, we had the stoplight, right? And then the stop... It was like stop and go traffic. So it was hella traffic. So it turned the light turned green. So we go. And then we didn't make the light. Uh, a few cars ahead of me didn't make the light. So we all stopped, had to stop again. And this motherfucker behind us didn't stop and bap me from in the back, bapped us from behind, you know what I'm saying? Hit, like, boom, I'm like, damn, you feel me? Kids in the back, checking everybody good, we was good. It wasn't that hard, you know what I mean? Pause, man. <laughs> but, uh, <clears throat> I hopped out, this motherfucker was, not looking, smoking a cigarette or some shit. Uh, had a little slight grin on his face, like, what the fuck you laughing? I wanted to fire on him, I wanted to get off on him, I ain't gonna lie. Hey, hold on, turn this shit. I wanted to get off on him, but luckily, I had, luckily I wasn't cheap and I paid for insurance on the rental, 
Now, sometimes, I ain't gonna lie, it was a time where I didn't pay for insurance on the rental, like a while back, because I was being cheap, trying to stack up a little extra hundred dollars, say that hundred something dollars, because I had it for a week. But I learned my lesson when I heard about some other shit, so I'm like, I'll never not pay for the insurance, you know what I'm saying? So, everything good though, you know what I'm saying? But this motherfucker didn't have no insurance, didn't have no license, you feel me? And probably was out here illegally, cause you know, uh, I don't know, but he seemed like one of them motherfuckers. Uh, man, so we, I had him on film and all, I filmed the car and all the shit just to cover my ass, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he ended up, you feel me, trying to drive off talking about, you know, my daughter's in the car and this and that. I gotta go, man. I just ain't got no... I, I'm like, look, I can't stop you. You feel me? I'm not about to stop you from going, but I got all your... I got the car. I got the plates and all the shit. I gotta get this shit to the to the uh, uh, insurance company. Like, you feel me? Whatever it is. I don't... You feel me? Uh, I had to make a police report. Like, you feel me? And uh, the cops finally came I mean, this shit was weird bro they didn't call me they didn't they, the cops met up with me later on while i'm working dashing they like oh where you at man we trying to do the police report i'm not used to no cops because i had to give them my number when i called you feel me so they can call me back or something when i called the uh traffic department or whatever to report the accident and uh I met up with him. I was at Target shopping, doing a DoorDash. You feel me? <laughs> Had to come out, holler at him. Uh, man, the motherfucker uh, wanted me to send him the pictures I had of the dude car and all the shit. He all in my phone as I'm looking through. He like, you got you? What kind of phone, car is it? So I had to look at the shit, and he looking all at my pics like, and uh, he seen on the. It was a video next to the pictures and it, it showed the dude you know what i'm saying because i was like and it showed him in the video he like hey that's him right there yeah send me that and i, I wasn't really gonna send that shit to him because i'm like i don't know i don't be really cooperating with these motherfuckers i'm not used to all this shit but uh i was trying to cover my ass man i just gave them whatever the fuck they needed uh i told him like hey you know dude i told I told dude like, hey, it's a rental, just it's whatever, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I'm not, I'm impressing no charges or doing nothing like that. You feel me? So I don't know, whatever the fuck happened, happened. But all I know is, shit, my ass is covered. Don't try to hit, tax me for nothing. I called the insurance people for the rental car. Uh, they uh, they said I'm good. You feel me? I just got to give him the police report. Matter of fact, damn, I ain't even... I got to call him today to call him back to give him that police report number. And uh, I'm good, though. But it's like... Dude. I wanted to whoop dude. I wanted to get off on him. Because I already know, like, I'm not about to get no... I'm not getting nothing out of this shit, but... Hella... Bullshit I got to go through. If, you know, if I was able to get some money out this shit, I don't know. Maybe I need to talk to somebody. I need to talk to somebody. You feel me? But I ain't got full coverage insurance on this motherfucker. I just got liability for the, you know, what I'm saying to cover me if I get into a wreck. But either way, I don't know. I gotta holler at somebody. If you know something, let me know, man. <laughs> but I don't, that shit felt hella weird talking to them motherfuckers, bro. I don't never. I don't even talk to no. It felt weird dialing 911, bro. I don't do that shit. Giving them the pictures and all of that, I feel I feel weird about that right now. Like I feel like I was on some weird shit. Like, I don't know. Like I don't do that shit. But I mean I had it was a wreck, so I gotta do what the fuck I gotta do, man, to protect myself. My family was in the car, like, wow. That's one reason I didn't get off on dude. And just getting off on him with a fucked off my whatever, you feel me? I don't know. I was mad though. I mean, I wasn't. I was cool, but I inside I was feeling like you know he just created a burden for me. You know what I'm saying? The car ain't really fucked up. It's just a little small dent, like a hole in the back in the bumper from his uh from his 
a, a screw on his license plate, kind of like hitting it, so it made a little small hole. But other than that, it ain't shit. But just going through all that shit was hella like annoying, you know what I'm saying? Police all like, I don't deal with them. Gotta be a citizen now. I'm a citizen. I'm, I'm a <laughs> man. I'm a fucking citizen out here now. You know what I'm saying? I'm on the I'm on the right side of the law now. I ain't really you feel me. I got a family, which I did feel weird. I still feel weird giving him those pictures. I wasn't even gonna give him the video because I was just like, man, I ain't gotta. I'm gonna just give you the picture so you can see what the car was. He like, hey, he pointed at the she seen it, like, hey, send that video too. And I'm just like, oh, this nigga all in my phone. Like, I would like fuck it, man. It's here. Take all this shit. As long as I'm good. Shit feel weird. Like I'm cooperating with the police or some weird shit like that. Like, but it, <laughs> that's how crazy that's how that's how you know I'm niggas shit on some real street shit growing up, man. Like, I don't I get into a wreck, I don't even want to call to make a police report. It's like, <laughs> it's just that. I ain't never did that. You know? It's like, shit crazy, man. <coughs> but yeah, other than that, man, back to work, feel me? back at it, driving safe though. Like, I mean, I'm. I drive safe. That was some bullshit, though. Even driving, recording, like, I'm comfortable, bro. That's why I'm always not looking at the camera. I'm driving. My hand right here resting on this little rest. Other hand driving. You feel me? It ain't really shit. I'm always driving cool. It's just weird shit. You never know what the fuck happened, man, when you, uh out in traffic that's why you gotta be sometimes you can't really do nothing about it man that's what's that's the bad part about driving period you know it's a risky thing it's risky because you got other weird motherfuckers you know what i mean yeah man
I be getting tired of that shit. I ain't even gonna lie, man. Like I'm like my wifey, she don't like doing that shit at all. Her own family, my family, no, she don't like going to nothing. You know, she gets forced to do it. She'll do it, type shit. If she ain't been in a while, or she don't like it for her reasons. She's like a super introvert. You know what I'm saying? But like me, I'm getting tired of it because I don't want to miss. I don't want to miss no money. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be lit tomorrow with DoorDash and Uber Eats and all that shit. Like, super lit. I'm not trying to miss no money, and you know, I'm I'm not drinking. I, you know, I, I, I minimize the days I could drink. Like, I only could drink on Fridays and like maybe Saturdays. Type shit. Taking a step to quitting. Like, trying to you know just minimize my drinking. I probably ain't really worried about just quitting altogether. But I am for sure trying to minimize it so I only could drink on the weekends, Friday and Saturday. Um, and the thing is, uh, today, uh, today, Sunday, I can't, tomorrow, Monday, I can't drink. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And everybody gonna be drinking and shit. I don't even wanna be around it. I don't eat meat. Everybody gonna be barbecuing, cooking, you know, hella meat, hella shit. I don't, I don't wanna be around it. Everybody going to be talking about certain shit, all this shit that I'm not really tripping on. I don't even want to hear it. Gossip, celebrity news, uh, you know, I don't I don't care. Politics, I don't really want to hear it. Uh, what else is going to be? A lot of sitting around looking at each other and, I, you know, I just get tired of it, man. You know what I'm saying? I get tired of that shit, like. Like, I need to start setting up some meetings in the family to talk about, like, stuff that could help us move forward type shit. You know what I mean? Let's see who's going to come to that. Like, you know, instead of the shit that's keeping us stuck, eating food that's clouding our mind, filling our gut with bullshit, talking about shit that's keeping us thinking at a lower level, you know what I'm saying, I'm tired of that shit, drinking, waking up, you know what I'm saying, face puffy, headache, you know, weight gaining, all that shit, man, I'm tired of it, man, I'm, I'm trying to be more productive, um, and I gotta stay focused, family to throw you off the show. Now, I love my family, but they say, you know, sometimes you got to separate yourself to elevate, you know what I mean? And it's like, I, that's what, I, I'm in need of that. So it's like, I'm in the, I'm in that separation phase where it's like, I'm trying to really elevate. And I don't know what nobody else trying to do. Like, I'm trying to really do some shit. And it requires a lot of focus. Attention, you feel me? They want your energy, they want everybody wants stuff from you. But you gotta learn to preserve yourself. You can't all you can't be accessible all the time. Like people in my family had got mad because I wasn't picking up my phone all day one one of these last week. They was trying to call me and all this shit about stuff, and nobody can get a hold of me. It's like, hey man. Sometimes I'm not accessible like that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I'm trying, I'm doing something or I'm, 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 I'm focused. You know? I'm trying to uh, accomplish things or I'm working. I'm driving. I don't want to pick up the phone or it's, it's you know, you like, can't let people run your shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm actually really, really learning and like really living by now. Like I used to let people run my my existence kind of like because I'm always catering 
you know they want to go people people want to go to the club they hit me up hey let's go out let's do this I feel obligated you know what I'm saying like ah oh, nigga go and come out nigga get out the house I feel obligated I'm gonna come get you and this and that or or I even ride all the way out to them type shit they you know I got friends in the Bay Area our way all the type of shit like like man I'm over here doing all this shit just to go out and stand around at the club man it ain't like I stopped going to the club a long time ago though but uh it's just hella shit that's like you gotta take control of your shit everybody want me to come to the little family function things and all this shit man and sometimes I'm not able to come like if you was trying to build a business or, or or create your life, get your life together, you know, you're trying to move, get a nice house, all the shit. Like sometimes you got to cut a lot of shit out. And some people might understand that or just where they at mentally, they're not thinking the stuff that you're thinking about maybe or whatever, right? Not, I talk to people, my family about stuff. That everybody on their own shit, you know. So I ain't really doing shit on Memorial Day. Like I mean, about working and listening to my book, this book right here, <laughs> and uh, taking notes. That's what I'm on until it's done. Then I'm to the next book. Taking action though. But let me know what you think, man. Uh I'm about to sit here, wait on the order. Probably go get something to eat in a minute. Let's see what I'm about to eat. Shit. Just probably working for the next couple of hours. Go check on the family for a little bit and then come back out. I'll tap in with y'all, man. I've been on this thing almost 40 minutes. Let me know something in the comments, man. How you how you living? What's going on? Holla at me. I'll holla back. Gone.